hello uh, today we see how to use the scp command in linux scp uh, stands for secu copy this command is very helpful in transferring files from local to remote and from remote to local uh, it follows the ssh server for authentication and encrypted data transfer uh, the basic syntax of scp is scp and some options and the source and the destination now we can see how to transfer a file from local to remote uh, in localhost I am listing the desktop we can see the empty file file 1.txt and now I am copying this file 1.txt to remote host uh, from user 2 at 192.168.7.13 remotes IP and uh, dis destination path now it will ask for the remotes password once the password is given we can see the file is transferred successfully uh, this 100% means that uh, the percentage of file transfer and this is the bytes uh, file transfer next we can see how to transfer multiple files from local to remote uh, in desktop location we can see the three files uh, file 1 file 2 file 3.txt so I am copying this to remote post here So scp file 1.txt and file 2.txt file 3.txt to the destination user 2 and the destination's ip and the specified path so here you can see the three files is transferred and in remote host while listing the three files are transferred successfully next we see how to transfer the file from local to remote with port number so uh, in desktop we have three files now I am copying uh, this file 1.txt to the destination and the uh, path So here uh, it displays that uh, the connective host and the destination port number connection refused. Since I didn't mention port number, the connection is refused. So now I need to mention the port number with the option called hyphen p, hyphen p, and the destination's port number. So now it will prompt me to send the file, and the password is given, and the file is transferred. So in the remote host listing file is transferred next we see how to transfer directories from local to remote so in desktop you can see there one as a directory uh, and this directory contains some data so now I am sending this directory whole to the destination uh, with port number so we have to use the option called hyphen R and the hyphen P for port number and the destination sound of 13 slash home user to desktop. So the content I am going to transfer is directory 1, it is directory. So it will ask for a password and you can see the contents inside the directory is transferred to the destination so here in desktop or listing you can see the directory one is, one is transferred so next we see how to copy with detailed information uh, while copying from local to remote or local itself it can be done with the step by step detailed information about transferring file for that I have to use the option hyphen v so now I am copying the file with option P for port number and uh, file 2.txt file and that destination 13 home to to desktop so while running this it will uh, debug the whole process that is the enabled link process and it will prompt me the password so if the password is given you can see the uh, transfer 
so in remote host while listing you can see the file to the txt is transferred successfully so next we see how to hide the transfer details if you want to hide all the status about file transfer in the terminal we have to use the option hyphen q so now here i am transferring the file 1.txt uh, with the option hyphen q and hyphen p for port number and the destination user to at and the desktop so it will ask the password once the password is given we won't show any details about the files transfer but the file will be transferred so a listing here you can see the file one txt is transferred successfully in SCP by default uh, without any option it will display the details about the transferred files but in case it won't display in that time we can use the hyphen p of that is small p option to display the transfer details i will show you a demo with the hyphen p here it should be noted that hyphen small p is for printing the details and capital p uh, capital p to mention the port number so i am transferring file 2.txt to the destination user 2 zip and uh, destination path so password is given uh, it shows the uh, the file transferring details next we see how to transfer the files faster uh, using the option hyphen capital C it will speed up the transfer to save time and bandwidth the transfer speed is depend on how much the files could be compressed uh, actually it, uh, it will works on all files if the source file is already compressed means it will not work file types like .zip .rar and some pictures file like .png and iso image files will not be affected by the hyphen c hyphen c option so now you can transfer with hyphen c option and small p to print the details and v to view the verbose and capital p to mention the port number so i am transferring test directory that is one directory to the destination so by using the option p it will check the uh, in between path and it will prompt me the password window so if the password is given it again shows the transferring details so you can see the compress outing compress incoming uh, that's the directory is compressing so here you can see that it shows that test directory that is a uh, sent directory is not a, a regular file that is it is an empty file so it skips the uh, hyphen c option so next option we can we see is uh, how to limit the bandwidth usage uh, it is one of the important option in SCP is that limiting bandwidth in copying files uh, for that we have to use the option hyphen l the bandwidth is specified in kilobits uh, it's nothing but file transfer speed per second so now I am copying the new file dot txt with uh, port number 24865 and uh, hyphen r and l option i'm here mentioning 600 kilobytes so now i'm mentioning here the destination path set to documents so it will ask for the password and you can see the uh, file is transferred so since it is an empty file uh, it is transferred very quickly uh, that is it uh, contains only 0, 0.0 kbs so the next option we see is how to transfer the file from remote to local so now i am copying file 4.txt located in remote on user 2 
form user two desktop and the destination user one at seven dot two fifty one. one desktop so since the port number I have given so it uh, the connection is refused so now I am giving with port number that is our local port number hyphen P hyphen P two one four nine eight and it will ask for the password once the password is given the files is transferred the next option we see is how to transfer multiple files from remote to local so here I am transferring I am transferring file 4.txt and file 5.txt to the destination So, it will ask for the password. If the password is given, both the files are transferred to our local. So, in desktop, you can list and the two files are transferred from remote to local. And the next option we see is how to transfer from remote to remote. So, now I am copying user one at ones and the path user one the desktop and the file name this file five dot text and the destination user will ask for the uh, locals password and this will ask for the destinations password these are the basic uses of SCP command thank you